Welcome back. This is Miss Tyne with your math lesson for today. Today we're going to be talking more about how we can use centimeters to measure the length of objects. Remember, a centimeter is part of the metric unit of measurement right here. Many countries use the metric unit of measurement, but in the United States, we most often use inches to measure smaller items. An inch is a customary unit of measurement in the United States, uh, and centimeters is the metric unit of measurement used in many other countries. If you remember from Friday, one centimeter is a little shorter than one half of an inch. You can see if I drag my mouse down, it comes just a little shorter than half of an inch. Some items that are about a centimeter long are a Cheerio, a small pencil sharpener, or your pinky. You will be using a digital version of your army ant ruler today to measure the length of some ant paths. We've created some ant paths for you to measure to get a little experience with measuring in centimeters. Now your digital army ant ruler today does look a little different than the ruler you used on Friday. Hopefully this one will be a little e easier for you to make your measurements. You can see on your ruler that every other centimeter is a different color. So we have red, blue, red, blue to help you see the difference. And this ruler is numbered. So we have our centimeters all the way up to 10. Each army ant ruler is 10 army ants long or 10 centimeters long. That will be helpful for you to remember when you're working on today's assignment. The really big thing we're learning today is we're learning how to do the difference between two different lengths. So here are the ant paths that you will be measuring. Uh, because we're learning at home, these two ant paths are not the same size as they would be in the classroom. But like always, we do our best uh, to make good estimates and use what we have. So the big question is, um, how much longer is path A than path B? Before we can answer that question, we need to know how long each path is. So first I want to estimate about how long each one is. Now I have my army ant ruler right here under path A to help me estimate. Now I can see that that ruler uh, goes just about to the end of my twigs. And I know because I remember from the earlier that each army ant uh, ruler is 10 army ants or 10 centimeters long. So this distance right here is going to be 10 centimeters. And I can just write that right there. And I can use as many army ant rulers as I need to measure the length of my path. So I'm gonna grab my army ant rulers from over here. And I'm just gonna line them up till I get to the end of my path. So now there's my second army ant ruler. And I remember when I'm measuring, I need to make sure things line up exactly to the end. End to end, oopsie, there's a little gap right here and that's not gonna help us know the actual length. Oh, that's so much better now that they're right up next to each other. Now, just like I did over here, knowing that one ruler is 10 centimeters and I marked it with my drawing tool, I'm gonna to do that again. And I'm gonna use my different colors to know that I have 10 centimeters. Right there, I'm gonna write that I have another 10. And from here, all the way to my blue dots here, I have another 10. Hmm, this is starting to look like something pretty familiar to me. So I'm gonna mark the end of this path because it doesn't quite go to the end of my fourth ruler. And now I can count that I have two boxes that I had to cut off the end of my ruler. So if I had 10 centimeters in my whole army ant ruler 
and I had to take away 2 right here. 10 minus 2 is 8. So I know that my last, oh, that's not a very good 8, that my last ruler only has 8 centimeters. And now this looks very much like an open number line. So I can just use the same style I'd use with an open number line and add up all my numbers. 10, 20, 30. 30 plus 8 is 38. So my first path is 38 centimeters. But you know what? I just realized I didn't make an estimate of my first path, but that's okay because sometimes we make mistakes, so we just try better next time. You'll do a better job on your assignment to make a good estimate. I know you will. So let's go ahead and make an estimate with our second path. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did. With my first path, I moved a ruler right underneath path A. I'm going to remove a ruler right underneath path B. And I'm going to use path A to help me make an estimate of path B. Now path A, I can see, was 38 centimeters long. So I'm just going to make a line the best I can right here to go to the end of my second path, path B. So if this is about 38 centimeters, well, I think maybe if I add on, hmm, I could probably fit two more army ant rulers at the end of path B. So I think that path B is going to be about 40, hmm, 60 centimeters. That's my estimate. That's very important to do, to estimate something so you get a good idea of how long it might be. Now, I have my estimate of 60 centimeters. I'm going to start putting my army ant rulers right underneath my path. So now I have three, four, five, and oops, it even goes out of my screen, almost six almost 60 centimeters, so my estimate was pretty close. But let's go ahead and see exactly how many centimeters we have. Now again, I know that I can group my army ant rulers together. Each ruler has 10 centimeters, so I have 10. I'll go to the end of this ruler for another 10. I'll go to the to the end of, oops, this ruler for another 10. And I'll go all the way to the end of this ruler. And I'm marking every single jump I make from ruler to ruler. And I went a little bit over, so I'm going to go over here. I have another 10. And I'm going to draw that line again at the very end of my path because it doesn't go all the way to the end of my ruler. And now I'm going to do the best I can to count how many boxes I have left, how many centimeters I have left. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 centimeters so far. So 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. I know that this leftover space, not really leftover, but the end of my path is seven centimeters. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, seven centimeters is the length of path B. And now my big question, I know I had to do a lot of work to get to my big question, but my big question is how much longer is path B than path A? Well, I know that path B is 57 centimeters and path A is 38 centimeters. So I want to figure out 57 minus 38. And this is going to be your job 
in Seesaw today. So let's go ahead and look at what your uh, Seesaw template is going to look like today because your really, really big job is going to be to find the difference between 57 and 38 centimeters. Here is your assignment in Seesaw and it's asking you to do the same thing that we just did in our lesson. So you'll have all your army ant rulers right over here that you can move underneath both of your paths to see how long they are. Once you've found the length of all your paths, well, both paths, because there's only two, then you're going to use subtraction to see what the difference is between the length of path A and the length of path B. Remember, you can use the move tool to move all these army ant rulers over. You can use the drawing tools, all of the markers down here, to make that uh, number line kind of like we made on the other one. So I see this would be 10 and this would be another 10 centimeters. So you can mark this all up. And you can do the same on both paths to find how long they are and then find the difference. For each estimate, you're going to put it in the boxes here, because where it says estimate in centimeters. And then for each length, actual length that you measure, like we did up here and on in our lesson, you're going to put it right here. And now I showed you how to do the first two parts of this lesson. Your big job is going to be finding the difference in length between path A and path B. You have the tools you need to do this. Good luck, and I will see you soon.